Hey everyone, welcome back to new Jitbug Compose tutorial. In this video, you will see how to implement this glowing card. So as you can see, there is like a neon background behind each of these cards. And you can apply it on a circle or on a rectangle with rounded corners. As you can see in the demo app, uh, this this actually used in some apps. And I like the, the way it looks. So it would be nice to know how to implement it in Jitbag Compose. So let's get it started. By the way, if you just want to grab the final result of this video, you can go to my description, go to my repository and copy the code from there. But for those of you who want to learn how to create this, follow up with this video. I'm going to explain how to do that. So create an empty Compose project that creates here a file called glowing card and let's create a composable function with the same name glowing card. So for the parameters of this, we want to get the glowing color. So the color that will show behind the card, uh, we want to get a modifier or we should put the modifier here at the top. Um, then we want the container color. So the, the color of our uh, card, that would be color. Let's give that a default value of white. Uh, then we also want the radius of the card. So let's say corner radius. Let's make this dp and give it 0 TB, uh, db as a default value. We also want the glowing radius. So how far is the glowing is going to be from the, the, the card? You will see that. So we'll say a glowing radius. Make this dB, 20 dB. Then we also want the content. So what the content uh, that will be inside our card. Let's make this composable. And we want to allow the user of this possible to just have a box scope for that let's add this extension and then return a unit for this function okay so the way we do this card is just by a box so let's implement our card here with a box and assign the default modifier then let's open the curly bracket and pass our content in here okay now how do we achieve the glowing effect well we can do that with canvas so we can say we want to we want to access canvas. We want to get the draw scope. We can do with that. We can do that with a modifier called draw behind. Now, as you can see, there are different versions of a draw. Uh, basically, the one I know is draw behind. So that means you draw behind this content inside your box. Draw with content. That means you can draw over your content or on top of your content. I don't know what this draw cache exactly, but Anyways, we just need the draw behind function here. As you can see, we get this scope of uh, of canvas. Okay, now, first of all, we wanna get the size. So we can say dot this size. And here, if we just wanna say draw rectangle or round rectangle, this will not give us the, the flexibility to, to add the shadow layer. So basically, how we're gonna achieve the glowing effect is by adding a shadow layer behind our box or behind our content. Now, using this function, we don't have anything of these parameters that allow us to pass anything like that. For that, there's another type of canvas that is called the native canvas. So that is the canvas that used to be uh, in the in the view system, not in Compose. So to access that canvas, we can say draw context dot canvas dot native canvas and here we call just apply now we access all all the magic of the original canvas as you can see there are more options than the composed version of canvas okay so again we want to draw a round rectangle so we call this function and here we have many uh overloads of this or many versions of this function so we're gonna use the the second one here. So we wanna pass left, top, right, bottom, Rx, Ry, and paint. So the paint here will allow us to set a shadow and you will see that. Okay, so what is the left? The left is basically the left side of our rectangle, the left or the top left coordinate of our rectangle. So that is, that, that will be uh, 0F. <laughs> then we wanna pass the 
top so the top uh, side the top side coordinate of our uh, rectangle that would be zero now we want to pass the we want to pass the right top corner of our rectangle that would be width or sorry sized width and we want to pass the bottom right coordinate of our rectangle or our box so that would be uh, the size the height now in here we want to pass the the radius of the curves so we need to pass this one here let's do that corner radius we make that pixel because it accepts flows uh float sorry then we want to pass the y just pass the same value here and finally we want to apply a paint object so make sure that is from android graphics i will apply on that to configure it so in here we just wanna uh, create our card color so we can say color equals to container color and here as you can see it requires a different type of color so it requires an integer not the color object for that we can say to ARGB which which is going to return the integer value of our container color now we want to set um, shadow layer and the radius is radius is in the parameters of our functions we can say a glowing radius to pixel what we also need to pass here see um okay we can't use named uh, arguments let's actually see what the what we need to pass dx so that is the x point of the glowing effect if you pass zero for uh y and x that means it's gonna be the the glowing will show the same on each or on all the sides if you want to make some shifting of the glow effect you need to pass them but for that let's just make this more flexible and pass him from the outside we're gonna assign default values of zero here so we can say um let's name this x shifting make this db and let's give this zero db duplicate this make this for y and here let's pass these as floats x shifting to pixel and y shifting to pixel now finally we want to pass the shadow color we got that from here which is called glowing color and as i said we need that as an integer so we say to a rgb and that is it now let's get back to preview it. Let's create just a box that fills the maximum screen or the maximum size. We give content alignment of the center. Then let's just create a simple card. Let's say glowing card. Uh, for the glow color, let's just pass green. And let's also pass radius. Let's just make it simple rectangle. Then in here, let's say we need to add a text of content. Uh, we apply alignment. Make this center. Uh, we forgot just to give this one size. So modifier equals modifier size. Let's make this 200 dB. Now let's launch the app just to check out. Okay, we have some extra imports here. Let's run the app to check our card. And here you go. So as you can see, here's the glow effect. Now let's try to add some radius to this. Or what did we call it? Radius? Yeah, corner radius. I would rather to call it card radius instead. So let's do that. Let's just refactor this. Name this card radius. And let's get back here. Let's pass like 20. Just for an example. Let's see that. And yeah, here you go. So as you can see, it looks nice. If you want to make this even nicer, you can just go back here and you can reduce the opacity or just change the transparency of this glowing color. We can say copy alpha and let's just reduce this by this factor or this factor. Let's try again. And yeah, now I think that it looks good. Try, for example, 7F. 
And yeah, you can just play around with this until it fits your use case. Let's try to change the radius for our glowing effect. Let's make this 10 dB. Let's see. Yeah, so as you can see, it looks really nice at 40 here. See how that's going to affect. As you can see, um, now let's say you want to make this an, uh, a circle. What you can simply do is just to change this corner uh, card radius to a very high value. For example, integer max value TV. So this will make sure to turn this card into a circle. Let's see that. And as you can see, this is your card. It looks like a circle. And you know what? Let's make this look like really nice. Let's make it here 3 f Let's see. 0 0.3. Mm, okay, look at it. It looks good. So as you can see, you can just play around with this. And yeah, here's your glowing card. So that was all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you think this kind of video is helpful, then click like. Uh, subscribe to my channel. You can join my Discord server. You can ask your questions. Uh, we just have a little community on Discord. Join there and you are very welcome. So thank you so much for watching this one. Hope you have a great day. Catch you in the next video.